These are a few of my favorite things. Hi love this is Miss Nay and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my October favorites. I haven't done favorites in a while so I'm really really excited to do them. So let's just get right into the video. The first favorite I'm going to show you guys is this facial cleanser by Beauty Without Cruelty. And I really really like this cleanser. It's cruelty free and it's very good for I feel like all different skin types. It says on here it's also 100% vegan and vegetarian which is amazing. It doesn't really have a smell. It's 8.5 fluid ounces and it does come with a pump and I just keep it by my sink or under my sink and I just pump it out and put it on my face. It really has a nice lather to it and it just goes on really really smooth and after I wash it off my face feels so silky and so soft. I just love it. It says of course no animal testing, paraben free, pH balanced and soap free. It says it's a lightly foaming soap free cleanser that removes dead surface skin cells. Daily impurities and excess oil without over cleaning your skin. But it does feel clean when I'm done, but it feels clean but yet not like, you know how some things strip your skin? It doesn't feel that way. So this month I've really been loving this Beauty Without Cruelty face wash. The next item is going to be my African Black Soap. Now this is what it looks like. Basically it says here African Natural Original Black Soap from raw shea butter and water and it just says the aroma and deep rich color result from the centuries old extraction process that blends the two ingredients together resulting in the finest cleanser 100% natural product of West Africa and I love black soap this has really worked wonders on my skin if you have any blemishes it's cleared out it feels so smooth and soft and what I do is it's like this it's it's firm but it's you have to shape it so I just scoop out some and I shape it into a like a bar of soap and I keep it by my sink or whatever when I'm gonna use it I just take it out so and then I just you know go back when I need to and get some more so it's really really good and it says it relieves pimples and blemishes prevents itchy dry and scaly skin from developing cleans pores rejuvenate skin leaving your body fresh and clean so you can use this all over your body as well so I really really love this black soap and I've been seeing a lot of people making shampoo and I eventually want to do that too because I really really love how black soap cleans and cleanses the face. So I really want to try it on my hair. The next product I have is, I've been using this. This is more than an October favorite. I've been just using it since I got it. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I love this. I got the color dark brown. I'm wearing it today. Pretty much I wear it every day. So every single look I have, I'm using this Dip Brow Pomade to be honest with you guys. It's never anything else. Before this, I did used to use other ones, but I just fell in love with this. And a lot of people I know have been talking about how it dries out over time, but I know they said that you can spray it with like, some people use oil, some people I think use like the contact solution or whatever to moisten it. But it's kind of like, the texture is like a mousse. I still have a lot and I had this for months now. But it is kind of thickening up. So I guess if I want to moisten I can spray it, but I don't feel like I need to spray it yet. And I've only been using like from this side over here. So the other side is still not really touched yet. But I feel like this is going to last me for a long time. So if I have to spray it to kind of revive it and make it moist again, I will do so. But I really, really love this. I love how it makes the brows look. It gives them a really natural look. And you just have to just blend it out and I really like it. And it lasts because when I take off my makeup, I really have to scrub like the brows. And this is without me setting it. So it's to, for me, it's much proof. I mean, I haven't gone out in the rain or anything with it, but just for everyday wear, whether I spray my face or not, I find that this really holds up. So I love this product. My next product is going to be my Softy Mango Butter, and it looks like this. To guess what I'm gonna do? Oh my goodness, like I love this so much. It smells so, so good. It really does smell like mango, and oh, it's so, I'm just obsessed with this thing. And it says it's a daily hair dress enhanced with shea. I got this. You can get this at your local beauty supply store, Walgreens, whatever drugstore might have it. I think I got mine from, it might have been at a dollar store, but not for a dollar though. It says here I paid $1.49, which to me it's worth it. It just makes, it's a grease, but it makes your hair smell so, so, so good. Like when I put that on, I go, people like, what is that? It's like, is, are you wearing perfume or whatever? It smells amazing. If I could just have this in an air freshener, I would, or I would just like open it and just like, like doing this, I can smell it. This is amazing. So I really, really love it. And it just says, use daily to add softness, shine, and manageability to your hair. Maybe used for heat styling to reduce heat damage. Love this. 
Next product I got is this little beauty blender holder. It's so cute. It looks like it's kind of like rose gold. Look how I'm holding it in my hand. It's really, really adorable. I'm just trying to show, let you guys see the size of it. And I got a two pack. And I think they sell individually too. I'm not sure if it was like $3 for the two pack or whatever. But I just keep this like on my vanity area with the beauty blender in it. And you can keep this next to your bathroom sink, wherever you keep your makeup, and just put your beauty blender in here. It's really, really cute. This has been one of my favorite things because it was like such a little cute little accessory or like little holder for you to put stuff in. This is really just one of my favorite new items that I got and I've been definitely using it. So it's going to be a per have a permanent place in my makeup area. So my last item is what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you guys can guess much of my videos. I had to put something Fenty Beauty. <laughs> you guys already know. Watching this video, if you've watched my other videos, you're probably wondering, okay, I know she's going to have something Fenty Beauty. You, a lot of you guys that I talked to are probably thinking that, but of course I could not let it go without having it. Now, I do have other, I do want to do a video on my Fenty favorites, like yays and nays, but that's a whole other video. But I had to talk about Trophy Wife. And I pretty much, I mean, for the month since I got it, I guess for the whole month of October, I wear it almost every time I go out or do a video, photos for Instagram. Bam! <laughs> I'm wearing Trophy Wife. I just feel like it just looks so good with my skin tone because I have yellow undertones. Some people do tell me that they're not a fan of the yellow gold on their skin. I mean, I use it as a highlighter as you can see here, but normally I have it on my lids sometimes, brow bone highlight, just wherever. I'm just like obsessed with that. I put it on my neck, I put it on my like what, decollete, collarbone area. I just put it, I, I just, I think I've posted before I could bathe in this if I had to. And yeah, if you're unsure about it and you want to swatch it, I mean, I guess you can go to Sephora and swatch it and see how you feel about it on your skin tone. And I'm just loving, loving, loving this highlighter. So that's all of my favorites for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me comments down below. Also for you guys who want an update on the LA Colors Foundation, I am wearing it today. It's been a couple hours. It does hold up well. I love the finish. If you guys want to else is on my face, I'll put that in the description box down below as well. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.